A lawsuit filed against Lansing Community College is accusing the school of putting critical information on the line for students and staff. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. Now this comes after a massive data breach last March. Ivory Whitby filed a class action complaint Wednesday. She is accusing the school of mishandling the personal information of more than 700,000 people. Students on LCC's campus tell News 10's Riley Connell the potential release of their data is concerning. When students enroll at Lansing Community College, they trust the school with their personal information. Now they fear it can't always be protected. Well, it's kind of scary. I mean, obviously nobody wants their personal information put out like that. But at the same time, you got it's like it's it's the age we live in now. After the data breach back in March, some first time students say it's an issue they weren't expecting to face. It was surprising to hear, not something that I was like, I guess like expecting. But um, I don't know, it's just not really kind of what I wanted to hear, I guess, as a, like an incoming student. LCC shut down its campus for five days after discovering the breach. Kayla Pazowski believes LCC did its best to resolve the leak. My experience with them as a school is they are very helpful for their students. They do seem to care about us, so it's unfortunate that that happened. In the complaint filed by a victim of the data leak, LCC is accused of failing to protect personal information of students and staff, like full names and social security numbers. In a statement to News 10, LCC says there is no evidence of fraud in connection to the leak and that the college is taking the necessary steps to address the situation. In Lansing, Riley Connell, News 10. Following the discovery of the data breach in March, LCC has increased its security measures and reset passwords.